What's up YouTube, it's Verdix here, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary, and today, as you can see, is a standoff search and destroy, and I'm starting it in the middle of the game, and it's actually 0-3 and, and we're losing already, and I was actually 0-3 KD-wise as well. I know it's so new to you guys, you know, you don't see me falling off like that very often. Uh, but actually, I chose to start this game in the middle for a reason because I didn't really want to use the first three rounds because, you know, I die all three rounds and that's pointless. Uh, so I just started it from here because I absolutely go off from this point. Uh, but I do want to tell you guys one thing and that is that this is actually was recorded as a live commentary and I did mean to. I accidentally left that selection on on my Elgato and forgot to take it off. So hopefully that isn't too loud for you guys and you can actually hear this well over the few things that I do end up saying during this commentary. Uh, but let's get into what I want to talk about. And that is the patch notes for the new update that came out probably two days ago when I upload this video. Uh, when I'm recording it, it will be yesterday. So I just want to talk about a few things. There's a lot of stuff here, guys, and I can't get through it all, unfortunately. But... I do want to talk about some of the most important things that I've noticed that some of you guys may notice as well. Uh, now let's just get right into it. Hopefully I end I decide, or not decide, I remember to leave the link to this in the description below so that you guys can go read up on all of it yourself. But if I do forget, just go on Google and search Black Ops 2 Patch Notes and usually like the first or the ones near the top will be the most recent. Just look for the one that says 312.13, and that will be the one that I'm getting all this information off of. <clears throat> Alright, so number one, let's talk about the gameplay balancing, as it says here. So they have done a lot of things with all types of weapons. They've done things with a couple SMGs, the Cap 40s, they've done things with an attachment. LMGs, assault rifles, shotguns, and sniper rifles. So what's that? Pretty much every gun. Type, at least. But let's just get into the SMGs here, because those might be the most noticeable for most people, because, in my opinion, most people in the game use SMGs. So, the MSMC and the PDW have both, both received patches, which include increased recoil and hipfire accuracy has been slightly reduced, and this is for both weapons. Uh, now, the hip fire accuracy just means that when you're obviously up close hip firing to someone, you might notice that you're not getting as many hit markers as you used to, and that's pretty much the reason. And then the recoil, honestly, is, has been pretty noticeable. I went to use the PDW, and it was ridiculous how much it recoiled. Same with the MSMC. Now, I have gotten a little bit more used to the MSMC lately because I have gotten used to the recoil since the patch, and I've actually been able to start controlling it. And it's honestly not too bad once you get to that point. I see a lot of people using grip and things like that, quick draw grip, taking off their long barrel. I personally have the same setup. I still have quick draw and long barrel. I don't run grip, and I can control it just as well. It just took me a while to actually get used to it. Uh, now let's get into... Now personally, let's. Just... I'm going to rant for a bit. I honestly didn't think the SMGs needed a patch. I don't think the MSMC or the PDW was either overpowered or underpowered. They were both 100% fine where they were. It, the game worked how it was supposed to. ARs beat SMGs at long range, occasionally at mid range. Most of the time an MS, a submachine gun would win. That's honestly makes sense. Now, I understand why the they would want to the nurse the <laughs> recoil a little bit with the um because of the mid range problem because a lot of the I could see why an AR would complain about it if they continuously get outgunned by it, but it's not too much of a problem for me. I'm not trying to be cocky, but honestly, I don't really get outgunned that much at um a mid-range by an SMG. Uh, now, at close range, SMGs always win. That's how it's supposed to be, unless you have this little pistol that they also patched called the Cap 40. All right, let's get into the Cap 40 patch. There's only two of them. Oh, he's one shot in court. Probably need a oh, lot more, though. No, he came back, came back. The dual wheel damage has been reduced. Yeah, it was. That's only if you're using dual wheel. Remember that. So if on you put on a single Cap 40, it is just as powerful as the dual wheel. Plus, you can aim in. 
and also dual wield hip fire accuracy has been reduced. That's not too much of a problem because most of the time when you're using cap 40s dual wield, you're pretty damn close to your enemy. The hip fire accuracy never was too much of a problem. You pretty much just sprayed and prayed. And those 30 bullets that you come with normally was enough to take out at least two people. Yo, Gambit, if they start pushing you so, a day, just tell me and I'll help you. Now, personally, I still run the Cap 40. I just use one of them now. I don't use the Akimbo next anymore. Round, next round. No, but a lot of the people I see board using board Akimbo board. still do just as well and destroy me just as quickly as they did before. Team. And I honestly think this needs more of a patch. Uh, the Cap 40 is there's still just court, as good as it was. It hasn't really been nerfed at all. And yeah, so let's get into this attachment There's that they actually the patched, which is awesome. It, it's how the game was supposed to be. Um, the MMS, the site that allows you to see through walls, before the patch, when someone had cold blooded on, you could still see them with the MMS, even though cold blooded said that you're, it's supposed to make you immune to it. You could still see them with it, it was just very faint, and you had to pay very close. I'm sorry very close attention to actually detect them with it so now they're actually completely invisible and you can no longer see them at all which is awesome it actually adds a tactical thing to your classes while you're playing search you don't want to be seen by by mms you don't want to seem be seen by dual band snipers throw on cold blooded if you don't have a problem with it don't use it it's simple um but they've also upgraded the lmgs which just didn't make any sense to me because if you were to go with an LMG before the patch and put on a thermal or a dual band, my bad, right, I'm pinging. the thing didn't uh, recoil at all. On, but what they have done is they've pinging. added more medium range damage for the LSW and the hammer LMGs, which honestly I think is going to be a little ridiculous. Uh, but that's really all I can get through today, guys, as this video is coming to a close. So hopefully you did enjoy the video and hopefully I remember to put this link in the description below when I upload this video. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and if you would like to see more from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Peace. Objective parameters obtained. Well done.